Welcome to the first of my vehicle builds. Today I'll be showing you how to build the basic tank. A tank that can still kick ass by the way. There's no secondary weapons in this one, that'll be a later build. I'll also do a heavy tank build, speedster build for those races, and of course uh, the nimble raid vehicles. Now I'm going to use the best frame to use. I want it pretty wide really. Make sure I get this track on. I'm picking a track. These things are expensive, but they are so much fun to use. And you can put struts on the side to add extra uh, armor, but I'm not going to do that. This is just a basic build. I can do a heavy tank in the future if you guys request it. But these builds, it's just, it's just mess around with what you got really. Now, if you look, I've got the bear, which is a good cabin but the carapace is a lot better the jawbreaker too is pretty darn good but carapace has the most armor so and strength obviously the build so i'm going to pick that and plus it looks more like a tank and it looks pretty badass and when you come against one of these things you're gonna crap yourself now of course the back you have to really place a carapace in a position that suits you you know it's not just how it looks it's what you're going to actually put in this tank now I'm going to put an armored compartment and there's lots of bits and bobs you can put there you know you've got your strats and you know you've got your avia panels which are really good and offer a lot of protection to the vehicle so I'm going to put a couple of these here it's a bit like a game of Tetris and you probably notice I was probably crap at Tetris, but there we go. We're going to put in obviously a fuel tank. So let's find ourselves a fuel tank, and we could put uh, other things in there. You can put um, a chameleon and make it an invisible tank, which I've done in an earlier build to some success. But you really need the long, uh, the the much more advanced chameleon really to uh, make that work because a short the uh, basic chameleon doesn't really keep your cloak for that long so the generator will go in there these two things will make your tank also a movable bomb or a moving bomb and of course I'm experimenting where to put it if you put it there it sticks out too much so the best place to put it is tight right into the back you can put it underneath to a degree but I don't like doing that I like putting it in the compartment yeah, I like things like that now the carapace is looking good now I need a little bit of side panelling but we're actually going to go for the top of the tracks we can do the side panelling later because that would come into uh, the heavy armoured tank which I'm going to do in the next video so let's go ahead and just keep this tank as light and as easy a build as possible again my tetra skills are coming in very handy here let's put these little panels on Okay, and these are pretty cool. Put these on as well. Right. Obviously, you don't want it to look rubbish, but you don't want it to be blown up too quickly. You can put, as I said, extra side panels and struts to make this a really stronger tank. You can make it a bit wider, a bit more meaner. Adding more armor means the vehicle's got to be a lot bigger. Okay, so yeah, I'm happy with that. It looks pretty good. Let's just top it off now with a bit more protection to keep our fuel barrel and generator safe. Let's make it a little bit pretty. Let's add these exhausts. I don't really want them there, but I'll just put them there for now. I prefer them down the side, but you can widen the side of the track itself and put those in the middle, which look a lot better but you need strats to do that. Again, it's experimentation. Now it's the gun. There we go. Fat Man is the best gun for me. All-round protection, really. And it's, uh, it does get the kills. Moving the AV panel just to suit it, and now it's decoration. Turtle camo looks good. Yeah, that looks good too as well. Oh, wow. And a desert digital camo. That's looking good. Aluminium. 
Yeah, there's lots of uh, good cop, personal favourite of mine. And of course the graffiti camo. You've got the calendar. Pink if you want to stand out. That's why I have it. <laughs> Midnight, that's always a good one. And you've got your basic camos coming here. There you go, bromite. And of course the green and red. And of course the turtle, which is an extremely expensive camo. That's why I like to show it off. <laughs> so there we go. And that's the tank. It's all done, ready to go. What we need to do is do some finishing touches. You can have a bit of aluminium here and there to make it look a little bit cooler. And then add some little bonus items for your leveling up. You can add lights and stuff and even a horn if you want to. I was thinking where to put this, but that is not really where I want to put it. I really want to put it near the end of that uh, sloping part there. So it's more like uh, a tank's front and back end. So I'm going to skip that. We can come to that later. and I'll show you how to put those on properly. So I'm realizing I'm not going to take it all off and ruin it. <laughs> ruin the build for you. I just want to keep it nice and simple. You might not even have those parts yet. And there we go. I'm thinking about back defence as well, very important. You'd be surprised how many times I've been caught napping and they've taken half of the back of my vehicle. You can protect the back end of the vehicle with these nasty little blades. Yeah. <laughs> the sharpened wing edges, very nice. They do a bit of damage, as does this. I do like that. Bumper spikes, one of my favourites. And you can decorate where you where you want to really, you can just redecorate it all, that colour. But don't forget to test the vehicle, most important things you do before you go into any fight. And that's it, the light tank. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you later.